Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am your girl Connie Kenner. So welcome back, welcome back. Make sure you subscribe because 98% of you guys are not subscribed. So please make sure you subscribe because more videos are coming your way and I love reacting to the videos. So let me, show me some love. Just subscribe, it's free, you know. And so on today's video, guys, I'm going to react to American tries Kenyan snacks in Kenya. So um, I, I find this is interesting because there's so many Kenyan snacks that I know already and I feel maybe there's some more, you know, that are now in the market I don't know about. So that's the reason why I have decided to react to this one. So let's see what our American brother has to say about the Kenyan snacks. Let's go. Yeah, so... So the YouTuber's name is Coop's Corner. How do you how do you pronounce that? Coop's Corner. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Mother Africa, Mother Africa, Mother Africa, coming home. Welcome to Coop's Corner. Come along for the journey. Okay, so his name is J J Jackson Scooper. Africa, Mother Africa. Jackson Cooper, nice to meet you, sir. So let's see what you think about the Kenyan snack. Come along for the journey. It's a lifestyle and it's all about learning. I love you, Africa. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh, they look so good together. Is this a couple? Are they a couple? Let me know in the comments below, you know, but they look fantastic. The melanin is popping, you know, the drip is on point. Love it. Let me know. Yes, What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Jay Coop. And today, we are going to be trying Kenyan snacks. Where are we at? Nairobi. In Nairobi, Kenya. All right, so her name is Wangeshi. Nice to meet you, Wangeshi. You're so pretty. You are mm, so pretty. Let's get into it. <laughs> Let's get in. Yeah, the thumbnail has to be on point. The thumbnail. Right here, we have the beautiful Miss Wangeshi, and she is going to be telling us why these snacks are popular here in Kenya. Miss Wangeshi, what are we starting with? Start with nuts. I like that. <laughs> Tell us why these nuts are so popular for a snack. These nuts, you can get. Yeah, the nuts, you guys, if you've never tasted these particular nuts, oh my goodness, and you're missing out of something. And if you're not from Kenya and you go to Kenya, you must buy these nuts. You can find them everywhere street food in the shop, everywhere. And what I love most, there's so many people who like them either with a peel or without the peel. Personally, I love the nuts with the peel because there's the peel is salty and so it just brings out a whole new vibe, you know, uh, you know, about the nuts. So personally, I love uh, the, the, the nuts with the peeling. Get them. Got it! <laughs> Anywhere. Yes. Who are in traffic. <laughs> Jackson's like, I want some nuts. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> We're just talking about the peanuts. That's all. That's all. That's all. Okay. I ate them because they're so good. <laughs> Let's get into the famous. What do they call them? Jugu. Jugu nuts. Let's get into them. Come on. Let's go. Mm. Look at the tiger string. The lion string. We're in Africa. Yes. Yeah. Right. Do you eat them with the skin or without the skin, Miss Wangage? However, you prefer. With the skin, without the skin. Uh -oh. It's your choice. Oh, here we go, guys. Mm. Show the nuts. Mm. Let's get into them. Yeah. And you know what, guys? What I do is I buy them raw as well, and then I make them myself. So the taste is good, but I don't know for some reason I prefer buying them from you know from from the local shop as you know street food, and they're so good. They're so good. You can buy them raw, cook them yourself, or just buy them. Mm, so good. Oh, so good. Like, pretty much just peel it off. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. You just do it. Good. <laughs> Yo guys, I love the I mean they just vibe with each other. Is this a couple? Because he didn't say this is my bae Wangeshi or she didn't say this is my bae Cooper. Are they just friends or something? 
It's good. I prefer it to win. I prefer it with them. Roasted. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Just like the perfect snack here, man. I promise you. And does 20 shillings. The yeah. Roasted nuts. Killer snack here in Kenya. And it's also known to boost men's <laughs> Yeah, that is so true. That is so true. That's what people say that it boosts, um, you know, men. Uh, stamina. So, uh, true or myth? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's true? Is it true? It's true. Nuts. Nuts give you nuts. I like this one. <laughs> oh, God. There you have it, guys. <laughs> On to the next night. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get ginger nuts, guys. Mm, Let's get it. Ginger nuts, guys. Oh, my goodness. I want some with the Tango Wheezy. I'm telling you that these ones are the best and by the way the brand manji this is my childhood brand like any any biscuit or whatever snack that you buy from manji for a fact you know it's going to be so good so manji manji you can sponsor them you know because my goodness and but these ones in particular are just like so so good it is why is the ginger nut so popular very cheap how much is it no, five shillings for three cookies. Yeah, for three cookies. Ginger. Personally, I prefer buying the, what do you call it, the packet because you have more. But when you're just like, just in a hurry and probably, you know, because in the small shops, they just sell the, 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 the I think there are four or five inside, just a small packet and they're not expensive, so. <laughs> the lecture is just right. teaching me, and I'm like, <laughs> You're from the States. These are ginger snaps, but they have more of a little kick to them here in Africa, here in Kenya. They're yeah. good. Seems like they have more ginger in them here. Oh. What would these taste amazing with? Mm. What? I would say, in my opinion, I would say with a hot drink. And I would prefer them with coffee, actually. So I think they would taste best with. Um, coffee. I have a friend who likes them with milk, but for me, it has to be when you dip it into your coffee, then it just comes out a little bit more, not too crunchy, but you know, in between, mm, it's the best. For me, coffee, for sure. Ate them with yogurt. <laughs> oh, with ice cream. She made everything that's kind of like what I thought. <laughs> I think milk. Milk. Some ice cold milk. Oh, man. Mm. So ice cream is a no with milk. Well, it's it's a it's a different vibe, but it's I believe it's not the best choice. I'm sorry, Cooper. <laughs> Substitute mm -hmm. ginger nuts. Great snack to me, guys. Mm -hmm. Quick, cheap, and as you can see, addictive and fulfilling. Right. Ginger. Nuts. <laughs> All right, guys. On to the next snack. Okay, guys. Up next, as you can see, you're drinking apia juice. Apia in Swahili. Means health. health. It's considered a healthy drink, although it has a bit of chemicals. She calls them chemicals, guys, which is beautiful. We shouldn't be drinking this, but. I know. And this, do you yeah. have pick and peel? Yeah. But I don't know the Afia uh, drink, but the pick and peel is like the number one uh, company which sells like the best juices ever. Like 100% fruit, you know? So. I I love it. I just love the taste. And my best one is a pineapple one and the mango one. Those are my favorites. We do not have pick and peel. Pick and peel is a juice brand. Mm -hmm. They're known for their freshness. Although I don't really believe it's a hundred percent natural. Mm, you don't believe that. Stop snitching on them. Of course I think there's a little bit just a little tiny bit just for the preservation, but I think they <laughs> I don't believe anything 100%. Yeah, but well, let's just give him a benefit of a doubt. The best thing, it's it's delicious. I don't believe that. From the beautiful landscapes of Kenya. So this is authentic, guys. It's like mm -hmm. a pineapple. I had the tropical of that, but I killed mine. I actually had yeah. it. Let's <laughs> cheers it up. See how I taste one. Cheers. Cheers. Pineapple. Woo! Bang. Guys, let me know if you like the Afia drink, uh, if you've tasted it already, and let me know in the comments section below if you prefer the Afia drink or the pick and peel. I think she said pineapple, so that's my favorite, my all time favorite. Mine's is fake. This looks like a terrible <laughs> So, guys, this is a great beverage right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
dry air when you're eating your snacks. Let's get on to the next snacky snack. Yay! This is Mavita biscuit. Kids love these. Adults love this. Love this. Mm -hmm. Five shillings. You're telling me five shillings get you all of this. Yes. And what you usually do, you try to eat everything except the name you read them. Really? Wait a minute. Um, it reminds me of so probably they've changed the the name of the brand because I remember back in the days it was what um what was the name and I remember when I was in high school uh we used to make business okay we used to do business in high school just to have some money and we used to buy the a whole box of biscuits what was the name of the brand let me know in the comments below if you know what I'm talking about you know it was the same biscuit and then you had to eat everything round before you attack, you know, the, the, the hurt of the biscuit. Oh, I can't remember. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I have it. I've just seen the way it is. It's Britannia. Do you guys remember the Britannia biscuits? Back in my days, it was the Britannia biscuits. So now it's called Nuvita. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have to go and taste them again. We used to buy like a whole box of, you know, of the Britannia biscuits and then we would sell them unit by unit and make profit and buy more and more and more and more and more. And so, yeah. Okay, Britannia biscuits. Milk. All these cookies mm. are red with milk. Mm. So buttery, sweet, mm. perfect. Let's do it, sugar daddy. Mm-mm, man, these are great. I will highly suggest this snack, man, because it's like a, um, kind of like get you through the day type of thing right here. That's true. Mm -hmm. I see happy. Show me that one African dance you were doing. Hey. <laughs> on to the next snack. The next one. Okay, I want to get you. What do we have here? The Chef does. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you, I always have Chef Da every single time I come home. I always buy myself some chevda and I bring them back to France because if you don't know, I'm in France right now, but I always, 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 always buy the chevda. And if my family comes, I always ask them to bring me some chevda and the peanuts, the raw peanuts um, that I make myself. So, oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. I'm so hungry right now. No. This is called chevda. Chevda is it's mm. chili, first of all. Yeah. They have some nasty times. Oh yeah, yeah, they're hot, hot, hot. I'm not eating the chevda. So this is a popular Kenyan snack. It is. Mm -hmm. 100, 100, that's not bad. A hundred shillings or a hundred. Bob. <laughs> this you have to eat yep. a handful. Yep. I don't even know why we say Bob, actually. We say 200 Bob, 1,000 Bob. I don't know where it comes from, actually. So if you know, let me know in the comments below why Kenyans say 100 Bob you know, instead of shilling. So is it like the shang? I don't, I don't know where it originates from. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Told you. Mm. It has just enough kick to it, to where it's not too hot, but it tastes good. So what sets it off for me, Super Paul, is the nuts, man. Look at that, right. guys. It's the happy mix of Kenyan goodness. Right. It's addictive. My mom buys a whole can. Mm -hmm. Buys many and then she feels in the whole can. She's watching all this. Man, for me, my chapter. <laughs> that was good. Chapter was a good surprise, man. It was. I didn't think I would like it. Chapter's begging, y'all. So when y'all do come to Kenya, you want some snacks? Check out that chapter. And let's get on to the next sticky, baby. Yeah. Now, this is bite. What are those? What are those? <laughs> it's crunchy corn. A little barbecue. Okay. Let's do a little pop sniff test on these. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hey. lot of barbecue on that, guys. <laughs> Okay, I have never tasted this one, so these must be some new snacks because they don't ring a bell at all. Oh, snack. Yeah, but personally, I'm not a big fan of barbecue unless it's barbecue chicken then I then I make myself, but um, I'm not a big fan of barbecue anything. I like it, and then it got a little weird on me, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Mm -hmm. but I like it. A little weird thing is, you have Cheetos here? These are like Cheetos with barbecue flavor. Okay. So it's like a Cheeto, but it's not all the way covered. What would you normally drink with this? You need a drink for that. Yes. My mouth would be dry as the Egyptian desert. <laughs> <laughs> Probably juice. Perfect little pound of water, y'all. On to the next snack, guys. It's called Tam Tam. 
Okay, yeah, so this looks like, um, these ones look like, um, let me see. is also corn. Yeah, they look like what we used to eat as onion rings, you know. I don't know if you remember if you're Kenyan and um, the snacks that you would buy, they were all yellow. They would even color your fingers in yellow. And then we used to put them as rings all the way and then just eat them. And I remember I used to feel them all the way down my fingers, you know, and I would just eat them like that. So they look like the rings, not the color really, but the texture. I have no idea. Let me know. Like bites, a bit lighter. <laughs> Okay, guys, what she's not telling you about this is the flavor. Truly fruity. Oh. 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 The mutamu is like really sweet, sweet. Yeah, okay. Oh my god! Why is she having me eat So hit the like button right now. I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, eating truly fruity tamutamu. Oh, this one's spicy. So does it mean they're sweet? They look salty, but are they sweet? So why, the reason why they're called tamu tamus? Hold up! I told you. It's not bad at all. I told you. They're like it smells crazy opening it up. This is a nice little little light bite. It's spicy. Oh yeah, that one's spicy. Mm -hmm. So she didn't stir me wrong on that one. I told you. I guys let me give you a short story you know as a kid i used to love anything salty so from the peanuts to to the to the crisps and everything and i'm a big huge fan of crisps okay and then, so I visited Kenya and, and then I, uh, I bought the first thing I always, I did that time. I remember I was in Nakuru and I bought some crisps. I tasted them and I was like, what? It was not the same taste as I cherished so many years ago, back in the days when I was, a, you know, I was a child and I was so disappointed because, and I remember buying like different other, you know, um, crisps as we call them in, in Kenya, and I was like, uh, chips, actually, call them more chips, but oh my goodness, I was so disappointed, I bought another one, and I was disappointed each time, and I love them natural, you know, just natural with no flavors and everything, so I hope the Urban Bites, because I do not recognize the packaging, but I hope they're much better, because I've always been disappointed in crisps um, in Kenya. Okay. Oh, the packaging is on point, 100%. The Nairobi Nyamchom. Yeah, so if you don't know what is Nyamchom, Nyamchom is Nyama Choma. Nyama in, in Swahili is meat and Choma is uh, roasted meat. So it's like a barbecue taste, you know, of meat. So does it make sense? <laughs> I hope it makes sense. Yeah, so Nyama is meat. Choma is when you barbecue the meat, you know, when you roast it, and yeah, so it's so nice. If you ever go to Nairobi, make sure you have some Nyama Choma. That's the bag, because I didn't know what these taste like. Mm -hmm. Urban Bites is the way to sweat. Maybe that's what he says. <laughs> it smells like the uh, Tutti Fruit. Y'all be putting the same type of smell like that. Tell me that was wrong with Tutti Fruit. No. She's just home biased. Let me know that it's not the Tutti Fruit. Tutti Fruit is better. Woo! Look at that, mm -hmm. guy. That is crazy. Crazy. Let's do it. One time for Kenya. Yeah, that's my vibe right here. Yeah, this is the best so far. Reason why? Barbecue chips. That's what this is. Yum chum, you know what? It's yum choma. Grilled meat. All right. Barbecue. The other flavors though. What are the other flavors are? Okay, so I will get myself next time some urban eats and and the yum choma flavor. It's paprika. Paprika? Yeah. Oh. My favorite. Uh, my favorite uh, chips, so crisps, um, is the vinegar one. Oh my goodness, I can eat that. Like I can just finish a whole packet um, of vinegar chips. Let me know in the comments below your favorite, you know, chips. So good. <laughs> hey, hey. I feel like it has the same taste. Though. No, keep it, keep going, hundred. These can bite my. <laughs> Okay, I think those ones are not good. I've tasted them already. It's like instead of chips, 
<laughs> it's potato crisps. <laughs> everything's different. Guys. Chips is fried. I gotta hit right. the test on this one. It's all vinegar, like will tell me everything. Back in the sale department. Can't say it's not. Uh, yeah. Now the chip itself looks very crisp. That's a good sign. Yeah. Bloop. He's not hitting me uh, No. Disappointing. Like, right. Disappointed. I agree 100%. Salted. It should be salted, no vinegar, right? No. I had crackle. Yeah, crackle. Salt and vinegar. And they were good. But the tropical heat? Not all that. Yeah. Why do you say not all that? That's why you. Not a vibe. See you April. See you Yeah, see poa. See I don't know. What did one guess you say? Not all that. Why do you say? Not all that is why you mean. See you April. On to the next snack, y'all. It's the natural wafers. I love the waffles. I love I like them when they cream it with a vanilla uh flavor in it. So why this is such a great snack? This one is best for kids also. Good for kids, good for everyone. <laughs> That's like a Christmas gift. Why you get out of wrapping and it's boxed up? It's a snack, it's light, it's not as heavy. This is really good. It's more like boo boo the food though. I ain't gonna hold you. It's more like dookie. It's more like the husband. She's only saying that because I have to decide how I'm going to do it. You can't attack it! What? This was crazy. This is what we're eating, Wangation? Yeah. I've had waivers. I haven't had waivers in so long. Let me just smell them. Ooh, this smells good. Vanilla flavor. It's like cake. Let's do the darn thing. Sweet. It's going to be sugar. It's going to be eating. I see why she says these are good for kids. They will be bouncing off the walls after this. God dang it. The way I like eating them is I just put them in my mouth and I just let them melt away. I just let them, the waffle melt away. Mmm. Love it. How much sugar? I don't want no more of that. But I would be hyper as ish if I eat more of that. I like them. They're good. I say if you have kids, you're in Kenya. That's a good snack right there. But another way for them. All right, guys. On to the next snack. What is this? Mm, this is the dairy milk chocolate that is like the must have in Kenya by Cadbury. So another brand that is really has been in the market for years as a child. I remember we used to have those and and yeah, you can just tell by the packaging it's Cadbury. So yeah, love it. It's so good. The best chocolate I would say. Chocolate. Come on, brand of chocolate. Right. So this is a snack that people tend to go for. Mm. Right. I, <laughs> I love the one with the macadamias. Um, I think it's my it's my favorite with the macadamia, um, and so the nuts and and yeah the 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 white chocolate one. So mm, love I f they're so good. I forgot uh, gift wrap chocolate flowers. You know what they say? If you ain't sipping, you pimping. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Let's eat it. Yeah, the milk chocolate. Good chocolate. Mm -hmm. Simple good milk chocolate. You see this right here? I got the nuts that we were eating. Mm. Chocolate. Look at her jealous. Mmm. It's like a snicker. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, y'all. We are down to the last snacky snack. So Fresh is so cool. Oh, yeah. In Nairobi. Especially now since you have masks. Mm. You know the mask bread. Yeah, so when it comes to uh, chewing guns, I remember back in the day with the ball gun. So they were very... Uh, they look like the, what do you call them? Small and round. The ball gums were the best. You could like put like ten in your mouth and chew them away. And the big G, so you had like a yellow packaging. Let me know in the comment section below if you remember big G and the ball gums. Um, and again, I think the ball gum doesn't exist. Maybe the big G, yes, still. And also the tropical sweets. Uh, with the mint taste, oh my goodness, like, that's another snack, every time I come home, I buy those as well, um, and I always have them in my bag, so, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. Get on the snacks, keep your breath fresh, you don't want to stink your breath out here, and she was talking about mask here in Nairobi, I don't think you want to be caught without your mask here. No way, guys. Is this for real? Tell me you're joking right now. What? I've never seen this. There it is, what? guys. <laughs> there it is, guys. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Fresh. It's good. It's like medicine. Keeps your breath fresh, but you can tell. Oh. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The tropical mint. It's very common. And I, I know you will like it for sure, Cooper. You will love it. 100%. Mm. We saw them everywhere. Yeah. Right. We a lot of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten Cheers. Yeah. This is a ice cold feeling. Great combination, man. Fresh and that tastes really good together. Mm -hmm. Coming back in your face in a good way this time. <laughs> yes. I just slapped you up in the back like that. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this snack video. Miss Wangeshi helped me out so much with the Kenyan snacks, people. Did you enjoy the video? I did. I'm just waiting for the video to end. <laughs> He's not lying, guys. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that like button. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram at Jackson S. Cooper. If you come to Kenya, if you go anywhere, explore the culture, meet beautiful friends for life, and enjoy some good snacks. Okay, so they're just friends. Okay. Thanks, guys. Anything you want to say, Miss Wangeshi? Go ahead. I couldn't say it better myself. My head is. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I'm so happy to have come across uh, this channel and especially this video in particular because it has just brought back so many childhood memories and the snacks and everything. So if you enjoyed this video, the same thing, just hit the subscribe button. It's free and make sure, you know, you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend and so until next time bye peace